Hey there, it's Tally, and today in the second of two how-to videos, we are going to be talking all about shipping and recording results from the scrap refining process. Here's the scoop. We are now ready to ship from the Bravo dashboard, drop down the inventory tree, and then choose scrap refining process found on the right. A dialog will appear asking you to select a previously created bucket or the option to create a new bucket. Whether you sort your scrap by carrots or send in mixed batches, Bravo supports your method of metals recovery. However, you cannot mix metal types together. In this example, we are going to go ahead and mix all of the different gold carrots. Start by entering a name for this scrap bucket into the bucket name field. And in this example, we're gonna call our bucket mixed gold and include the date we are shipping it. Now begin scanning all of the items to be sent into the search box. Note you can view all items that have been marked for scrap by clicking on the scrap list button. As items are added to this bucket by scanning their barcodes or manually entering the inventory number into the inventory search field, the information under the enter items to scrap process will be updated with a running total of metal weights, metal assays, number, and carats of diamonds and stones. This information is automatically totaled from the values you already input into Bravo when you first acquired these items. Once you have entered all of the items that will be sent to your refiner, you will change the status from open enter items here to shipping ship to vendor. Next, physically weigh all of the items to be scrapped and enter that value into the total weight of scrap shipped field. Now click on select vendor from the bottom left hand corner. Search for your vendor, and in this example, we'll use the business name and then choose search, and then select the correct vendor. The print scrap report found here details the current market prices of metals, a detailed breakdown of the contents shipped, and a total estimated value. Select save, located in the upper right-hand corner, and now you will physically send the batch to your refiner and wait for the refiner to contact you with the results. Do not continue until you receive the results from your refiner. When the refiner does get back to you with the batch details, record that information into Bravo by dropping down inventory management and then click on scrap refining process. Select the bucket name from the list that appears and select okay. Change the status of the bucket from shipping ship to vendor to received vendor weight confirmation. Enter the confirmed weight received and the assay from your vendor. The maximum assay value is one or more often 0.999 which would indicate that the metal is 99.9% pure. For example, if your refiner sent you an assay value of 51.92%, you would indicate an assay value of 0.519 in Bravo. Click save and wait for your refiner to send you your final payment and or any returned materials. Note when you save your changes, the system will automatically change the bucket status from received vendor weight confirmation to assayed vendor assay result. Do not continue until you receive payment from the refiner. Now that the funds have been received, drop down inventory management and then click on scrap refining process. Select the bucket name from the list that appears and select okay. Now change the status of the bucket from assayed vendor assay result to close complete transaction. Enter the amount paid and the tender type into the appropriate fields under payment returned materials, final processing. Enter the invoice number only if the refiner sends metal and or stones back to you. Then fill in the number of stones returned, total carats returned, metal weight returned, and metal type returned for the material received back from your refiner. If you received stones back but no metal, you may leave metal weight returned and metal type returned blank. Note when you close the till for the night, remember to include the amount paid from the refiner in the till's total closing amount. And only enter an invoice number if you receive metal or stones back from your refiner. Click save. If you received any stones and or metal back from the refiner, the cost reallocation dialog will appear giving you the option of assigning costs to the material you sold to the refiner and the material received back from the refiner. If you are only splitting costs between two items, for example, cost of sale and stone cost or stone cost and metal cost, the cost of one item will increase as you decrease the cost of the other, or it will decrease as you increase the cost of the other. If you are splitting costs among three items, you will have to manually enter all three costs 
and ensure that their total is equal to the original total cost of the items shipped to the vendor. Once complete, click OK. A dialog will appear with details of the changes being made during the closing process. This will include information about whether tender will be added to your till and whether new inventory will be created for the materials returned to you from the refiner. Verify and approve the changes. Please note, and this is really important, the closing process cannot be changed or undone. At the end of the entire process, a receipt will print and a scrap report will be generated. The Bravo Scrap Report is a full analysis including accuracy, efficiency, deviation, profit, and loss. Finally, to view details from a previously closed bucket or reprint the scrap report from a closed bucket, click the small funnel icon next to the column labeled Status and check the box that appears for closed, enabling you to view all of your closed buckets. That's it, start to finish the scrap refining process in Bravo. For additional questions, give us a call at 888-407-6287. Thanks and have a great day.